Thank the light. Press through into your breakthrough. I will briefly say, press through. Now to start off, allow me to say, we read Nehemiah chapter number 4, verses 12 up to the end of 15. Nehemiah chapter number 4, verses 12. So it was when the Jews who built near them came, that they told us ten times from whatever place you turn, they will be upon us. Verse 13. Therefore, I positioned the men behind the lower parts of the wall and the openings, and I set people according to their families with their swords their spears and their bows verse 14, Nehemiah 4 and I looked and I rose and said to the nobles to the leaders and to the rest of the people do not be afraid of them remember the Lord comma, great and awesome or comma and fight for your brethren, fight for your sons, fight for your daughters, fight for your wives and your houses. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of the Lord, as we pray, as we go, Father, concerning pressing through, speak to us in a mighty way. We humble before you, we decrease in this place that you may increase here. Glorify your son Jesus, even as you are faith, you are done this hour in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Point number one. God is calling us to press through opposition. This life is full of things that stand against us because the plan of the enemy is to eat our hearts to get to our destiny. But I am sent to you to tell you today, you can tell God, I want to press through the opposition to my destination. Can I talk to you? Yes. I came to say in the name of Jesus, I want to be faithful in the things God has called me to do. And for me to be faithful, I need to press through every opposition. I need to press through every discouragement. I need to press through everything. God has laid ahead of me a God. God has laid ahead of me a prize. God has laid for you a target in this life. Nehemiah is a classic example of opposition. Nehemiah kajua kwamba Mungu anataka nifanye iki kwa watu wangu. Mungu anataka nifanye iki kwa wale nitendao. Lakini Sanbala, Tobias na wale wote walikuwa hawapendi Mungu, hawapendi kazi ya Mungu, hawapendi Mungu akitukuka, hawapendi kuona mambo mazuri. Walisimama kupinga Nehemiah kwa sababu hawakutaka ukuta ujemwe. Can I talk to you? Na mandiko inasema Nehemiah akasimama akambia wale walikuwa upande wake. Musi wawakope wale wanatupinga. Don't fear them that oppose us. Know that God is powerful. Know that God is able. Know that God will fight for us. If God has promised to be with us, He will fight for us. Can I go deeper? Mandiko inasema akalambia na muna hii. Sima me do not be afraid, my people. Do not be afraid, children of God. Do not be afraid, depend on God. And fight for your people. Fight for your family. Fight for your household. Fight for your destiny. Fight for your children. Can I go further? Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody glorify God and say amen. amen. I came to say like it was in the name of Jesus at the time of Nehemiah. You may look weak, but God is strong. We may not feel that God has us on his side. We may look like we are decided, but God is for you. Do not be 
have tried this in this journey. Usiogope katika hii safari. When God be for you, who can stand against you? I am sent to tell you in the name of the Lord. We need to press through every obstruction. We need to press through every opposition because in the name of Jesus, God is going to redeem our families as we continue pressing through. God is going to redeem our children. God is going to redeem our career. God is going to redeem our household in the name of the Lord. Somebody clap to God and say, in the name of Jesus, I will not be afraid. I will press through the opposition. Somebody say, Amen. 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 But stand firm and fight for your family Amen. because the plan of the enemy is to steal our families, is to steal our brothers, is to steal our children, is to steal. But I came to say in the name of God, Kavavile Likwa Panemaya, do not be afraid, do not look back, do not go back, do not be afraid. If God be for you, God will fight for you. If God be for you, He will be faithful in the name of Jesus. I am sent your life to tell you. Yeah. Perhaps you are the Nehemiah of your family. Yeah. Perhaps you are the Nehemiah of your household. Yeah. Perhaps you are the Nehemiah of your village. Yeah. Perhaps you are the Nehemiah of your household. Yeah. This idea is Perhaps your village will be saved. Perhaps your country will be saved. Perhaps your children will be saved. Perhaps the next generation will be saved. Through you in the name of the Lord. And therefore I am sent to you to tell you. Stand firm and hold on faith. Fight for your bed. Fight for your family. Fight for your children. Fight for your household. Your husbands are coming. Your wives are coming. Your jobs are coming. Your children are coming. Start fighting for them today because if God be for you, nobody can stand against you. I know there is a spirit running around, the spirit of San Balata, the spirit of Papayas, telling us we cannot make it, but we can we came in the name of the Lord to tell the enemy, may every San Balak fall and the sword of the Spirit of God, may every of the earth fall and the spirit of the living God. I came to rebuke every spirit of cowardice. I came to rebuke. I came to rebuke every chains and apologies that hold us back in the name of the Lord. May every fear go. May every fear go. I am preaching to the nations of the world and I'm telling you in the name of the Lord. God knows why you were born in that village. God knows why you are in that church. God knows why he planted you in that country. God knows why you are in that household. Stand firm in the name of the Lord. Fight through every opposition. Jesus, clap to God and say, Hey man, I am speaking to you in the name of the Lord, and I am telling you, maybe your generation has suffered violence, your generation has suffered poverty, your generation has suffered fear, your generation has suffered diseases, but perhaps you are the Nehemiah today. God is raising an Nehemiah that He will repeat everything that the enemy stole. May them that are not see it and Yeah. 
millions. We are a family of worshippers because of one man who stood. We are a family of people. Clap to God and say, May the spirit of Nehemiah arise. May the spirit of Nehemiah arise within me now in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I have said to you and tell you, marriage works. Yes. Fight for your marriage. Amen. I came to say education works. Yes. Fight for your certificates. Yes. You will get your book at a rebound. Yes. Amen. 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 Pressing through mm. every opposition. Amen. 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 Then he knows what awaits you. Sure. Open up your eyes and see what the enemy has been hiding. Mm. And they go and they tell every Sambalat, yes. your contract ends now. Yes. Tell every Tobias, your contract ends now. Yes. The Holy Spirit is so heavy on me today. I am called to tell this generation, we need an admirer yes. to repeat the laws. Amen. We receive the heritage of fearing God from our forefathers. But these walls are coming one after the other down. We must it out. We receive the heritage of mothers that we prayed. We receive an heritage of men and women who will tell us you better go to charge by force yes. because you are a massage. But we have come into a level where the walls are falling one after the other. But I came to awaken Nehemiah. Mm. I came to call the spirit of Nehemiah back to life. Yes. This generation needs to receive the spirit of Nehemiah back yes. in the name of the Lord and say, mm. my brothers will not die of alcoholism. Yes. My family will never know poverty yes. because they compromised here and there. Yes. I came to restore was compromised. Yes. Do I have a witness in the house? Mm. Do I have a witness online yes. that are saying indeed the enemy has been lowered in the levels one by one, yes. the levels one by one, yes. and all has fallen. We used to fear God, yes. we used to worship God, yes. but now when we were young, we used to call all the children to Sunday school, but now our brother is behind us, yes. our sister is behind us. We used to call all of us to the Christian Union, but our Christmas I falling off. I came to awaken the spirit of Nehemiah back to this generation. Mm. This generation needs the spirit of Nehemiah. Mm. And they say in the name of the Lord, let us stand and fight for our families. Yes. Let us stand and fight for our wives. Yes. Let us stand and fight for our children. Yes. Let us fight. Churches are empty today yes. because the enemy has lowered the wall of worship. Mm. He has demolished the wall of worship. There is no that horse. There is no that desire. There is no that fear. There is no that passion. But I came to awaken the Mayas back to life and say the remnants in the house arise in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to be a remnant, I prophesy. Amen. And through you, every wall will be rebuilt Amen. in the name of all. Marriages have been attacked, yes. but there is a remnant in the house that will say, my brothers will be born again, my brothers will marry, my sisters will marry. They will see the faithfulness of God yes. in the blessing of marriage, Jesus, yes. in the name of the Lord. If I'm talking to you, wave at me and say, talk to me. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Point number two, love your people. I'm not sure how many minutes I have. This thing, this clock always runs against. Uh, point number two, press through discouragement. Mm. Press through discouragement. First Samuel chapter number 30, verse 6. How many minutes do I have? Ten. Ten. Yes. Father, I thank you. David is from the battle only to find the Amalekites have raided and plundered his home in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. And then the Bible says, David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in the spirit because his sons and daughters, because of his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord is God. Allow me to come closer to your heart. And so, David, I'm a talker, Katika Vita. He has come from the battleground. Now, I'm a Kuja, I'm a Pata. There are many 
Romans took advantage when we were away and they plundered our country, they plundered our city, they took our wives, they took our children, they took them that did not go for battle and they burned the city, they destroyed the city and the, the men that they come with David to fight, they were so bitter, they were so discouraged. They told them, look at what has happened to us. We went to fight the Philistines, only to come back and find the Amalekites have stolen everything from us, including our dear wives. And they were so bitter with David. The Bible says, and they decided, and they say we are going to stone David. But the Bible says, he encouraged himself in the Lord. Amen. He inquired from the Lord. Should I pursue them or should I let them go? And the Bible says at the glass, the Lord told him, pursue them for you will overtake them and you will recover everything. Amen. I am sent to your life precious lovely ladies and gentlemen to tell you this life is full of discouragements but we can press through discouragement. God, I want to 
recover all. Come on, I want to recover all. Come on, I want to recover all. You know, I said it out. The Lord has been unfair to me, but I want to recover all. The Lord has been unfair to my family, but I want to recover all. May the spirit that came upon David and in pursuit his enemies come upon this generation. This generation is a bunch of discouraged people, but I came to encourage brethren to rise and know one thing. God is faithful. If he did it to David, he is the same yesterday, he is the same today, he is the same forevermore. Yeah. You can recover your finances, yeah. you can recover your career, yeah. you can recover your destiny, yeah. you can recover your calling, yeah. you can recover your people, yeah. you can recover all. Yeah. Come to God and say, I desire to recover You can recover your health. Discouraging somebody, but I came to say, May every discouragement fall yes. as we arise in the spirit of David and the press through in the name of the Lord. May your breakthrough come yes. as you press through every discouragement, yes. as you press through every opposition. Yes. Come to God and say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am saying to this generation and tell you, Amen. please let us not die in the place of saying the enemy has opposed to me it is over with me it is not over we have a one who was opposed to more than us he is called jesus christ our savior he was opposed by the sadducees he was opposed by the Pharisees. he was opposed by the high priest he was opposed by the scribes he was opposed by the thieves he was opposed by the enemy and even Position, he managed to go to the cross, he managed to go to the grave, and he rose again. And the same power that rose Jesus from the dead, I announce it unto you now. Perhaps you are online. I announce the power that rose Jesus from the dead to come upon you now. May you arise up and up and up. May you arise now from every opposition. May you arise now from every discouragement and the gift back that which belongs to you. Amen. I came to say it is time to rebuild our walls. Amen. I came to say it is time to recover everything that has been stolen. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I proclaim a season of recovery. Amen. I proclaim a season of rebuilding the walls. Amen. Our brothers will not die without knowing Christ. Amen. We will not die in poverty. Amen. We are rebuilding our wealth back. Yes. We are rebuilding our calling back. Yes. We are rebuilding our blessings back. Yeah. We are getting a little sick in touch. In the name of Jesus, clap to God and say you are talking to me. You are talking to me. Talking to me. In the name of Jesus. If I'm talking to you, assist your name by the stand mm. because of time. Love your people. Thank you. I think I have three minutes. Do I? What? Two. One. Two. Third, I think. <laughs> this time, boys, but I the same. It's okay. Okay, I don't know how to utilize two minutes. But I want me to request that you just tell God, may the spirit that came upon the Maya rest upon me now. May the spirit that rested upon David rest upon me now. Upon the Maya, it was the spirit of rebuke. May you receive the grace to impute. Amen. There's something you don't like in your family. Mm. May you receive the anointing that was upon the mire. And may you start rebuking now. Amen. I came to say there's something you don't like in your body, mm. in your spirit, in your heart. Mm. May the grace that rebukes rest upon you. So Amen. You say, Talk to me. Talk to me. I am called to awaken the generation back to the spirit of David on mm. recovery. The enemy comes to steal, mm. but we are them that recover. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for these two graces to rest upon the church now. Everybody talk to God. The grace to recover and the grace to repute. 